So I'd like to read another poem about my father um, that uh, it refers to the same incident, but in quite a different context. This poem is called Flight from Duxford. Laughter, smoke, the triumph of your, lust, your luck last night at poker fade behind you with the hedged fields of England. And in your chariot of steel, shearing the wind, humming its hymn of glory, a constant drone beside your brothers, you gaze over clouds to that blue yonder and an ever receding rim of earth. You peer down into passing chasms to the gray furrows of the North Sea. Alone in your cockpit, there is only the vast morning of your youth and the trip before you. Not long ago, you were riveting at Boeing. Now, a P-51 bears you, buoyed by the invisible. But flying back, a sudden cavity in sound, an eerie whisper of air enshrouds your fuselage. That class you skipped, the one that taught you how your life raft inflates, it's not supposed to be funny, but it is. <laughs> it matters now. Three miles off the coast of Holland, hydraulics bleeding, hit by flak or the blast of your own bombs, your prop stopped, and the sea rising to meet you. At 1,000 feet, you bail. One short swing and I was in the water, I had almost figured it too close just floating, embraced by the sea, brine like blood in your mouth. Above, your buddy marks you with carrion circles, eyes on the gas gauge, while your vital heat drains. You see your mother coming to the door, the telegram, the wave of news taking her down. There is a great tenderness where all things touch, where the puny will is weightless and the strength. You shear the valve, barehanded, the rescue launch reports, reaching you hanging on, half inflated. Why did you survive? Never a report of your thoughts 30 years later, when the tractor tipped you off, split you open between the legs, and left you in the summer fallow, staring upward at that constant blue gauging your luck. A partner there, again a witness who got help, and you lived another 28 years, hips bolted to the spine, a colostomy, a sphincter transplant that leaked, done in finally at 80 by drowning in the fluid of your own brain. Suspended from twin towers of grace, the span of your life hung. Where are you now? O oh, twice survivor, give me your altitude and velocity. The clouds here have condensed, rained, and slowly vanish into air. Tassels of the unmowed grass beside the roadway grasp the last few lights of sunlight and hold them, waving them before my eyes. And long contrails to somewhere stretch across heaven. <laughs>